Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week 13 of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. This is our final week in this crochet along and today we are going to be crocheting our way across the territory, the Canadian territory um, of the Northwest Territories. And the stitch that I have selected for this particular panel is the one that you're seeing down here. Now sometimes these stitches, and you'll see they kind of form like a nice uh, diamond pattern, and sometimes this stitch is referred to as the Catherine stitch, uh, or just a uh, Catherine's wheel or a wheel stitch, but uh, it's quite a fun stitch to work and once you get the hang of it, it works up quite quickly. So this is the stitch that we are going to learn how to do today. It's made up of clusters of double crochet stitches, which are joined with single crochet stitches, if you can kind of see them right here. For this project, you are going to need your 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, along with the worsted weight yarn that you have selected. This uh, yarn here is a light denim by Mary Maxim, their maximum value yarn. Of course, you can use any worsted weight yarn of your choosing. For a complete list of materials for this crochet along, you will find them for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and you'll also find the previous 12 weeks there as well. Following this panel today, you are going to start to join your stitches together and then work a very simple edging as I have done so here around the edging of my blanket. And again, all the written instructions can be found for free on my blog. I'll post the link in my video notes there for you. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can check me out across social media on Facebook and Instagram and even Twitter. Now that we have our materials together, let us get started. So for the panel today, uh, we will begin by making a chain of 58 stitches if you are following along with the written pattern. If you are changing the size of your blanket, uh, the multiple of stitches you'll need to complete the pattern is a multiple of 8 plus 2. Now today I'm going to be working just a small swatch for you so you can see how the stitch works and um, and I get it, gain a better understanding of it. So I'm going to start with a multiple of 8 plus 2 that's slightly smaller than the 58 and I'm going to start with 26 chains. Four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So once you have your starting chain, either 58 stitches or the length that you desire, you're going to start with row one. And for row one, you are going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So there's my first chain and my second chain from my hook. I will work one single crochet stitch. I'm going to skip the next three chains. One, two, three. And then in the next chain, I'm going to place nine double crochet stitches. It's one, two, three. Four, five, six, the yarn's creeping up on me, seven, eight, and nine. Nine double crochet stitches in the next chain. You will then skip the next three chains. There's the first one, two, and three, and then place a single crochet stitch in the next. You are now simply going to repeat that pattern. Skip three, nine double crochet 
in the next stitch, skip three, and single crochet. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way across. So I'll do one more repeat with you. So skip three, one, two, three, work nine double crochet stitches in the next stitch. eight and nine. Skip the next three stitches, one, two, and three, and then single crochet in the next stitch. So continue to do that all the way across and you will end your repeat with a single crochet in your final chain. So there we are, I've come to the end of my chain. At the end of your chain, you are going to chain three, which will work as a double crochet in your next set, and you will turn your work. For row two, you will have chained three, and then you're going to uh, cluster over the next four stitches. To work a cluster stitch, you are going to yarn over you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch. You're going to yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loop. Now because uh, my instructions have asked that you're going to cluster over the next four stitches, you're going to do that a total of four times over the next four stitches. So there's the first leg. And you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through yarn over, pull through two loops. You're going to have three loops now on your hook. Two more times, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. You will now have four loops on your hook and you have to do it one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Once you have worked uh, in each of the specified stitches, so in this case four stitches, you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. And try not to lose it as I just did. There we go. <laughs> so I pulled through all five loops on my hook. And that is your cluster made. Next you're going to chain three. And I ask that you do it fairly loosely because you're going to be working in those stitches. So chain three, then you will cluster, or you're going to single crochet, sorry, in the next stitch. So you've chained three, single crochet in your next stitch. So that's going to be at the top of uh, that uh, group of nine double crochets there in, underneath. After your single crochet in the next stitch, you're going to loosely chain three once again. And now you are going to cluster, except you're going to work your cluster over the next nine stitches. So once again, to work your cluster, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull up a loop. Now do that a total of nine times in each of the next nine, uh, nine, uh, nine stitches in total. So I'm just going to work my way around. There's three, four. Your fifth one should be in that single crochet that's down below. There's number five. And now six, seven, eight, and nine. So at the end of your cluster where you've worked over nine stitches, you'll have a total of 10 loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull that yarn through all 10 loops. And that is what it's going to look like. You are then going to chain three and you're now going to repeat. Chain three, single crochet in the next stitch. 
chain three. And cluster once again over the next nine stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through two loops. Continue that till you have a total of 10 loops on your hook. five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yarn over, pull through all ten loops on your hook. Your cluster is made. Chain three, single crochet in the next stitch, so you're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your last single crochet, so you single crocheted and you're going to chain three and then you are going to finish this row with a cluster over the last five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five, yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook and your final cluster is made. You can see mine is curling up a little bit here but it does stretch out a little as you do more and more rows. For row three you are going to turn and you're going to chain three and for row three, you're going to start by working four more double crochet stitches in the base of that chain three. So this is my chain three. This right down here is the base of it. So I'm going to work four more double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. And those are just worked into the base of that stitch. You are going to skip the next three chains and then single crochet in the next single crochet. So here's my three chains from the row below. I'm going to work a single crochet in the next stitch. Next, uh, working uh, through, I'm going to skip the next chain three loop and working through the center of that cluster down below. So this is my center right here. Working through that center, I'm going to work nine double crochet stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight and nine so that's going to form the top of your wheel if you pull back and take a look you can see you will then single crochet in the next stitch in the next single crochet so skip your chain three single crochet in the next single crochet and then you're going to repeat skip the next chain three work nine double crochets in the center of the next wheel And nine, skip the next chain three, single crochet in the next single crochet. And then when you come to your final, um, final cluster stitch there, you are simply going to work five double crochet in the center of that last cluster. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And that brings you to the end of row three. For row four, you are going to turn and you're going to chain one. You're then going to work a single crochet in the first stitch. And 
Next, you will chain three. And then you will work a cluster stitch over the next nine stitches. So that's these four double crochet here, your single crochet, and then four more double crochets. So you're going to work a cluster stitch over those nine stitches. That's your yarn over, insert your hook in the next, yarn over and pull through. Do that total of nine times. Your fifth one should be in that center single crochet there. Eight and nine. Once you have a total of 10 loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all the loops on your hook. At the end of your cluster, you're going to chain three and you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Now you are going to repeat that all the way across to the end. So chain three, cluster over the next nine stitches, chain three and single crochet in the next stitch. So repeat that all the way across and when you come to your end you're going to finish your repeat with a single crochet in your final chain three. At the end of row four you're going to turn your work, you're going to chain one and for, for row five you're going to begin by single crocheting in the first single crochet stitch. You're then going to skip the next three chains, which is right here, and you're going to work nine double crochet stitches in the center of that cluster down below. So nine double crochet stitches. Skip the next three chains, single crochet in the top of the next single crochet. Skip the next three chains and work nine double crochet stitches in the center of the next wheel. So you're going to continue to repeat that all the way across to the end of your row where you will work one final single crochet stitch in the top of that single crochet there that you began with on the other row. Okay, so nine double crochet in the center of your next wheel, skip the chain three and single crochet in the next stitch. And that is all there is to this. For the rest of the pattern, you are going to repeat rows two until five. And you're going to repeat those rows until your work from the beginning measures approximately 32 inches or a little less. Once you have finished that, you're going to work your single crochet edging around your panel, just as you have done for the last two weeks for these panels. And then uh, head on over to my blog at richtexturecrochet.com and there I will explain how you will join each of your blocks together and there's a diagram there for you to further placement. So thank you so much for joining me on this crochet along across the great Canadian landscapes. I'm so glad that you've joined me. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I look forward to bringing you more great patterns, stitch tutorials, and maybe even a crochet along in the near future. Thank you so much. Happy crocheting. Bye.